Today we are looking at climate change and how we have neglected to look after God's world. How can we start to make a change? This is the world. That's you and that's me. The world has the perfect temperature to keep all living things alive and happy. This temperature depends on a balance. The sun's heat goes to earth to make it warm. The sun's heat bounces back to space to make the earth cool. When this balance is lost, the climate changes. The earth's climate has changed many times before. This is called natural climate change. It's caused by volcanic eruptions, changes in the sun's energy, and changes in the earth's orbit. Greenhouse gases also make the earth warmer. They trap heat from the sun. Greenhouse gases are like a blanket covering the earth. It started in the 1700s. Humans started to build more things. We burn coal to make electricity. We burn oil to make our cars and planes move. We use chemicals to make things. We cut down lots of trees. We burn gas to cook food. We dump lots of trash on landfills. We plant a lot more rice. All these things release greenhouse gases. Remember the blanket over the earth? Because of humans, it got much, much thicker. When I get hot, I sweat. I even get dizzy. Imagine the earth. Because it's hotter, glaciers and ice sheets are melting. Seas are rising. Storms are getting stronger. Some places are getting dry. Even the sea is getting warmer. All living things are in big trouble. So what should we do? We need to change the way we live so we can stop releasing so much greenhouse gases. That way, the Earth's blanket will go back to normal. We also need to be ready for what climate change will bring. In December, there will be a big meeting of nations. They'll meet in Paris to decide how each country can help. Their decision will decide the future of Earth, our home. For this craft, you'll need a CD, some paper and card. Now I'm going to make a teddy bear. So I've got one big circle to cover over all the writing on the CD. And some smaller ones for his ears. And then his eyes. And his nose. If you've got lots of CDs, you might want to make lots of different animals and make them into a mobile. Have fun creating. Come on soldiers, let's march!
Jesus calms the storm. Matthew chapter 8, verses 23 through 27. Jesus and his disciples got into a boat. They wanted to cross the sea. Jesus took a nap. The waves gently rocked the boat back and forth. Suddenly, a great storm came up. Waves splashed over the boat. Winds whipped around the disciples. They woke Jesus up and shouted, The boat is sinking. Don't you care? Jesus asked, Why are you so afraid? Don't you have any faith at all? Then Jesus told the storm to stop. Right away, it was calm. The disciples were amazed. They said to each other, Who is this man, Jesus? Even the wind and the waves obey him. In the story today, Jesus counts the storm. It reminds us that God rules over all creation. And in Psalm 8, you appointed him ruler over everything you made. You placed him over all creation. In these passages, they give us faith in God's power over creation, but also reminds us very clearly that it is our God-given role in creation to care for our environment. How can you make a difference? For this craft, we're going to make a bird feeder out of a pot bottle. So you'll need a pot bottle, some twine and a stick. You'll need some help from a grown-up because you'll need a hole in the top, a hole where your stick is going to go through and a part so the birds can get their seed from. You can decorate your pot bottle, you can paint it or put stickers on it but remember that it's going outside so you'll need to put some varnish or clear glue on so it'll protect anything that you put on it with the uh, with the weather have fun this is our bird feeder in our tree why don't you post your bird feeders on the church website so we can all see us as a family how does the plastics in our oceans affect the wildlife? What are your favourite foods and, and why? What would be sad to see extinct because of the climate change? Do you know of any wildlife that has become extinct? And do you know why? What do you love about the world? How can you reduce your recycling? Do you think your church is helping to reduce the its waste? If so, how? Let's pray. May in faith see this world through your eyes. Hear this world through your ears. Touch this world through your hands. And bless this world through your grace. Amen.